In this video, you're going to see how to use some basic and very easy CSS styling to remove the not so nice looking border that Bubble places around clickable elements and especially links. So to get started, we're going to head over to our Bubble Editor. We're going to take a look at inspecting this element, which right now is a simple button. So buttons, and then we're also going to just demonstrate here, replacing this type to a link. If this is a little thing you didn't know, that's a great, awesome hack. Now one of the great things about turning it into a link is that out on the uh, user interface that your users see, we're gonna check it out, that you may have wondered how to do this in Bubble. If not, you get another extra bonus nugget here today, is that now when we click this, we can see it open in a new tab which is a lot of times, you know, when someone's browsing around something and they don't want to lose their place, they want to click and they want to open in a new tab. So you can upgrade the user experience of your app by giving them an option. But now you can especially see here that, you know, anytime that someone would do this, that it would be kind of uh, annoying that it's, you know, changing it to this style. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to inspect this. And then we can see here this demo user the process to follow for any of this is basically to go and find the element that you're interested in and then look at the class that it that it's um, that it has for that we can style so uh, I'm gonna say here that there's this link one or this clickable element now I noticed when I did this back before it was a link and now it is a button again that if we take a look at it with this same inspect, we can see this clickable element here as well. So I think I'm gonna to choose to style that. And how we're going to style that is by setting a class here. So we have this small piece of CSS, and if you've never used CSS before, it's just little pieces of, small pieces of code here in our no code world, where you can um, target a specific element and add some specific styling to it. And if you're always wondering about styling help, check out W3 Schools. Uh, just do a Google search for them or literally anytime you ask something about CSS, they show up first in Google. And so we'll head back over here and then we'll draw in an HTML element on this page. And basically we just want it to be uh, on the page and visible, but we're gonna set it to a height of one one, so just it's kind of out of the way and we'll make sure that that is fixed height. And then here in the HTML, we're gonna add this. So outline style none is important, and then we'll go ahead and reload. Okay, so then now we can see that we don't get that anymore here on the uh, button element, and then let's go back to having it as a link. And then we can see that we right click it. We get this nice open in a new tab option, which is another great user experience thing and no more border. So if you are looking for a way to do a little bit of styling on your elements, or if you are looking for a way for how to get an open and link, open link in new tab, uh, right click option in bubble. That's how you do it. If you like this quick tip, let give the video a like subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.